So, uh, with us right now, uh, from Amsterdam, Chris Oosterum, uh, director of Imagine, the Amsterdam International Fantastic Film Festival, um, one of the longest running and premier uh, genre film festivals in the world, and uh, largest in uh, one of the largest in Europe. Um, also chairman of the board for the um, European Federation of Fantastic Film Festivals, and um, one of the members. Um, of the organiz or organizing group for European Genre Forum. Is that okay? Yeah, that's totally okay. Thank Marit you. Marit Sorensen joining us, um, Swedish, although joining us from Denmark, where not Swedish? Danish. They, oh, say me, so say my, I say my Swedish. Okay. I'm trying to take it back to Denmark. <laughs> Well, well, you're doing, uh, you're, uh, well, you're one step towards that because you've moved back to Denmark recently, but um, 2018, 19, and 2020, you were the director of Lund, of the, of LIF, the Lund International Fantastic Film Festival, uh, the premier genre film festival in uh, Sweden, um, in a um, small town next to Malmo. And uh, again, one of the longest running um, uh, fantastic film festivals in the world. Also with us is Isaac Esban, Spotlight Director um, for Utopia 2018, Genre and Science Fiction and Weird Fiction and Cosmic Horror uh, Director, um, with, um, which uh, presented his three first features back in 2018 at Utopia. Um, his last film, Parallel, which parallels, which made its festival run back in 2018, also presented at Utopia and um, is now um, being distributed in theaters in the US and also available in a number of online platforms. Um, How are you, Yuri? Very happy to be here. Thank you. And of course, um, as, not, um, as important also, uh, co-founder and owner of Coyote, Coyote um, Auto Cinema, the Coyote Drive-In, um, which started in 2020 with two locations and now has four. Yes. So with, with this has been a challenging year for all of us, but it's not has it, it hasn't been completely bad for all of us. It's, it's it, but I'm sure opening two more locations has had its challenges. Maybe we'll uh, talk a little bit about this. And also with us is um, the second youngest, right? We, we talked about this. Yes, yeah, so yeah. Mo Hanai um, from Hiroshiba, um, um, an Israeli filmmaker who won um, uh, back in 2018 our first prize but when our jury included um, Sigis, film um, Sigis Film Festival director uh, Angel Sala, um, Motel Shish, uh, director uh, Pedro Sauto and uh, filmmaker uh, Colin Trevorrow. So um, those three thought she deserved the top prize at Utopia 2018 uh, for her film, The Update. And uh, Neta Shenitzel, who first presented her first, uh, her short film, uh, Teddy Bear at Utopia back in 2014 and uh, um, has remained in close touch and is now a member of the team and is the director of our Israeli short program. But, um, are we losing you? Yes, I have to go. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to go because, you know, it, then, it's, uh, it's a Sunday then, morning here in Mexico City. And, give and us one go. minute give, and tell yes. us, um, um, and um, the next, um, um, tell us um, what you saw in the competition films. Yes, I, I, that's what I wanted to say before saying goodbye. I wanted to say that. I, I have to say, sorry, I'm leaving, but it's but it's uh, Sunday morning in Mexico City and I've been absent from my, as my father duties too long, so I have to go attend them. But I do want to say, that I was very, very happy that uh, Yuri invited me to be part of the jury in, in Utopia this year. I had the opportunity to be in Utopia in 2018 with, when, when uh, Utopia, the festival hosted my 
retrospective of my three films and it was very interesting to see who were the jurors there with with you know Colin Trevor and Angel Sala and Pedro and very interesting to see how they were talking and 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 now, and now it was great to actually be able to live it and I love the short films I felt I I I love to discover the uh, the freshness in these new Israeli voices. And I mean, I told Yuri, and I told you this in privately, and I will say it in public, I've been invited to other festivals to judge short films and I, I, in Mexico and other places. And definitely the quality of the short films here was much higher. Like, like I, won't, I won't say anything about the winners, but I can say that the liberation process was hard. Like, like we all have very different opinions. Uh, can, I, can I speak about my favorites or I cannot? Of course. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I personally really, I personally really, really, really like films like like uh, premium service uh, or 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 films like uh, Shh, or or like uh, while well, you stay at home uh, um, there were a lot of really really interesting inter a, a, a lot of diversity uh, diversity in the shorts I will say I will say a lot of diversity a lot of special special ideas uh, and yeah, I'm 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 looking at at my notes. Yeah, premium service. Shh, while we stay at home, this is only getting worse. Uh, Saint Honoré, Saint Business. They all have some really some really interesting interesting beats. Like you know, I love premium service. Really surprised me. Shh, I got really identified with shh because because uh, you know having little kids. You have, you have two little. Yeah, you're you're have you you're, that? you're in. Look. You have an 11, 11, 11 month old and a three, and three year, old. year old. Yeah, three year old and eleven months. So, I, so I've, I've lived through that twice. <laughs> uh, and, and then while we stay at home, I loved how they use the element of the pandemic with some classic horror. This is only getting worse. Has had a really interesting animation technique. And then in Saint Saint Honor, I really loved uh, how he was able to tell a story with you know beginning, middle, and end. Fun story. Something also we can all relate to when somebody wants to leave from a place and you're in the middle of a conversation in two minutes. So that was really appreciated. And then Sun Business, I really, I really like the ending of Sun Business. And I, re I really like how, and, and you know, I could see there's a filmmaker there who really wants to pay tribute to, you know, Tarantino, the Coen Brothers, uh, Scorsese, and we, we all, that those are all the filmmakers that made us want to make films. So those are some of my comments on the shorts. I don't want to say too much. But I really enjoy this election. Uh, you will see who wins. And uh, thank you, Yuri, for inviting me. And thank you, everyone. It's been a pleasure being with all of you this morning. Send our uh, love to Miriam, uh, please. Hope to see you again. Hope our paths cross again. Yuri, Chris, hopefully we'll see each other again in another festival. Marit, I've heard many great things about your festival, and I and I and I'd love to cross our paths soon again. And and Neta, Naomi, more. It was great getting to know you today and let's stay in touch yeah thank you isaac and it's thank not you. enough it's not it's not it's not a matter of hope we will be seeing each other again um, we'll, soon we'll it will. just depends on when and where exactly thank you thank you bye thank you. have a nice have a nice day it's, it's thank you uh, it's noon now it's noon now so still a lot of the, uh, a lot of things to enjoy without leaving from the house unfortunately but we'll see what we do here yeah thank you yeah, we remember. Yeah, we. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. So let's let's all get to to the films. And uh, when I say the films, I mean the competition films you've all seen. Um, first, I'll say that um, um, there's a, the selection process cut down 58 films who are each a, a, a wondrous and um, uh, um, occurrence in reality. The the fact that the film exists means a lot um, because it's a collaborative effort that uh, requires r requires um, requires a lot so we've we have been submitted 58 films um, the selection process um, um, I, I like to equate it to a, to a DJ in a party not all films not all tracks are relevant to every party it doesn't necessarily mean anything about the film chosen or not chosen. It's just um, the sort of party we're planning uh, um, and the, uh, another f a film that, uh, a track that we might not think is right for the moment in the party, 
that we're at might be really, really relevant for another party. So um, in our party, there were 28 films. Uh, Neta and myself um, 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 curated them, uh, 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 selected by a selection committee. Neta and myself um, programmed them into um, uh, five um, uh, thematic, uh, thematic uh, programs. And together with the selection committee, we cut it down to um, eight of those films to be presented to our international jury um, in competition. So there were eight films. And let's discuss uh, what you saw or what you, like, what are the trends you saw, what you really, really liked, what kind of resonated with you. Um, Isaac took it to one specific uh, thing is, and, and, and mentioned like the films you really liked, but you're welcome to comment on anything you wanted or, or, or you saw or want to comment on um, before we announce the winners um, later on, uh, later on, yes. So Mo, yes, start, you're, you're welcome to start. Um, I think they are really diverse and each one of them was like another, um, another topic, another team. And I think it was like one of the hardest discussion <laughs> as, a, as a judging group. And it, it was really hard. Like one of us really, really like one film and the other one like, uh, like another really, it was, it was hard to talk about it even. So I'm really happy that we agree on the, on the selection. Was, there was no film. <laughs> Every film and competition, I think, had at least one advocate that said, yeah. no, this is the film. This <laughs> is the film. Well, really, exactly like you say. And it's the first time I see like this kind of negative uh, um, uh, opinions of, on one film. It was really hard to, to I don't know how do we, we all agree for, for the winners, but it did, it happened. And uh, Marie, do you want to, to, to say what you thought about it? Yes, yes, I can. Uh, I can. I can definitely say something. Um, yeah, I've been been sitting in two of the juries before this one, and I've heard stories about long jury deliberations. <laughs> I think we even had one in Lund that was twenty four hours. <laughs> uh, we, um, would, we would need to host you and um, <laughs> and and get you drunk for a twenty four hour period. Yeah, that yeah. was. Uh, this that was um, yeah, but no, but it was really when I watched the films, uh, it, it was also, as Mo said, and as uh, Isaac said, that, um, <clears throat> that they, they were so, so different. There were some, some of the movies had some similarities in them um, and with the way they, they treated the subject uh, relationships or, or something like that, but all of them were so different in terms of style and what story they told and the mood of the film and how they used the, the medium of film and stuff like that. So I was both surprised, but also not really surprised that everyone really had different opinions of what was the best film that we saw. Um, and I thought the discussions that we had were really, really nice. And uh, it was great to hear like different kind of people's input and ideas. And it was also kind of fun to see when someone got, got won over by an argument and that totally changed the game of it. Um, or not game, but you know. So, so I thought it was really, really fun movies, um, all of them to watch and uh, yeah. There was uh, there was both something new and there was something that was very familiar and there was comedy and there was what do you say conventional horror uh, in it so sci-fi so yeah it was it was a great selection. Chris, over to you. Well, I uh, <clears throat> a lot has been said already and uh, yeah I can agree with the, the comment about the quality of the competition and, and the variety of the competition. One thing that struck me is that uh, many of the films uh, that I've seen in this competition, uh, there's a few that really play with genre tropes, but not that many. So there's such a such a different way of uh, not just cinematic forms, but also the way 
filmmakers approach the notion of genre film or fantastic film. Um, and that's of course the beauty of it that you know that that it, it is there is no limit to the imagination, so it can really be everything. But when filmmakers actually use that space of let's say the limitless rather than uh, confining themselves to well-known tropes, you know that's really when you know for us as as people who watch a lot of movies, that's when it really gets interesting when people really try to find new paths, uh, find new techniques to make films. Uh, two films on the on the program had no dialogue at all, which of course is always a challenge to do that without it without you yeah, have the idea that it is forced. Uh, but it's really both films work really well with just showing and not telling at all. So yeah, it was it was a very um, varied competition that that only shows how how wealthy and how rich the the, the possibilities of fantastic cinema. I'll ask, I'll ask the two uh, international uh, festival directors um, um, a question that I also kind of. Um, a dilemma that I also have um, when you're um, after you've seen so many films and you've seen you've you've seen quite a few I don't know you know it's in, it's in the yeah. it's in the thousands but it depends on you know how many thousands so you become very aware of tropes you become of you you, you can uh, it, it's easy to say after a minute, I've seen this film before. I've seen it from Pakistan. I've seen it from the Netherlands. I've seen it from Spain. I've seen it from Chile. So it's not interesting for me. I'll, I'll, I'll try and, and, and articulate it differently. Um, um, when you're well acquainted with a lot of genre, with, with, with genre, films, genre films, as the name implies, have certain trends, have certain tropes, have certain... Um, 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 help me out, Hebrew speakers. Um, formula? Uh, formula, you mean, Ollie? Yes, I, I, I needed the word formula. You're, mm -hmm. So you're looking for something that will defy the formula when an audience might look for the formula. Do you get, do you get the... I look for both, but when I watch a movie, uh, I... The movies that surprises you is something where you think you know what you're going to see and then it twists and turns but i am also a very big fan of just going in and watch something where i know because i've seen so much and i also think other people uh you go in and see something that you have seen a billion times before i think that's why i've been obsessed with the korean drama series it's the same story over and over again <laughs> um and I've binge watched them and they're so long, but 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 when I watch the movies that I have to select, it's a much bigger process and a thought process that goes into it if I'm just watching it for my own entertainment in that sense. And um, sometimes you can be totally wrong in how you watch it. We had a movie the first the first year in 2018 when uh, uh, we had a movie Knives and Skin for opening and when we watched it uh, all of us is like oh yeah this feminist and it's a little bit tragic and everything and then we we screened it and us and the audience saw it in a different way because then when we watched it on the big screen with the audience it turns into it was also a comedy and that we we didn't see that at all because we were focusing on so many other things that we were blinded by the things that we were focusing on instead of just experiencing experiencing it <laughs> I don't right. know if that was <laughs> a, a well. I, 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 to to uh, to connect to that last bit, we all know. <clears throat> I mean, or we people who curate and uh, program festivals, that yeah, the frame of reference of program is different from an audience, and the, the there you will always be for some of the films surprised um, how how the audience will see films that you have selected, but um, more specifically about your question about genre tropes. Yes, of course, we love films that play around with genre, with genre tropes or sort of have a little uh, agreement with the audience that we both have seen all these famous films and you know there's elements in it and uh, and that's playing around with it. And it's not just us who, who get that the audience, I mean, the audience who go to fantastic film festivals usually are genre fans. They have seen quite a lot as well. 
So yeah, the playing around is nice, but also we know it's specifically with shorts because then tropes are not that bad. With features, it's a bit of a different story, but we all know the films where we think, yeah, we've seen this a thousand times, but it's so well done and it's so enjoyable. And it's especially in the case, if it is a bit funny and very bloody, you know, you also have the, we all have the experience that the program tends to become too serious because we love, you know, festival, festival films with philosophical questions and challenging forms and, you know, a, a, a drama, an enigma that stays an enigma, but you also want to have, you know, heads being chopped off uh, in with rapid quick fire editing. You know, that's also what you, what you, you need to have that sort of late night uh, whammy as well. And that's of course where films that use tropes and that, you know, push the throttle full, that's, that's part of festival life as well. The current film that's playing um, best, uh, feature length international film that's playing best at uh, Utopia is Palm Springs, uh, which obviously plays Great. with a well-known trope. The second, well, not the second, but let's, um, uh, in the, in the um, since it came, um, uh, since it came on, um, the second uh, best playing film um, is, um, uh, is, uh, is Aniara which we've already played in 2019 and we've decided to show again um, as part of a, of, a, of, a, of a different program, never mind, but uh, it's just, uh, it's two completely different films. One is wholesome, fun, romantic, you know, um, plays around with a, with a well-known trope the other philosophical, cerebral, emotional, devastatingly beautiful, and they both work. And it's fantastic because we're a fantastic film festival. Absolutely. Good. I know this, this, like, this is the best way to, for, for a closing statement, but Chris, um, as there may be um, Israeli filmmakers watching, Please give us like the one minute about EGF, the European Genre Forum, so they'll know about it. And if they have a co-production with, uh, with someone from Europe, they'll be able to apply. If you're an upcoming uh, genre filmmaker, meaning you're working on your first or second feature film and you have a European co-producer. Uh, we Or you're if you have a European passport. Or if you have a European passport, you're eligible for taking part in a one year training cycle that we as Imagine organized together with festivals in Zagreb, Croatia and in, uh, in Estonia and Tallinn. Um, it's called European Genre Forum. You have three talent labs over the course of a year uh, where you can learn things from your project in terms of its artistic side, the business side and finding audiences and markets. Um, you can look up all the information at europeangenreforum.com we have all the information. There's, uh, you can register there. You can um, submit your film, and there's also a website or an email address where you can get more information. And what's the submission deadline for Imagine and for Lund? Uh, for Imagine, we just passed the deadline, um, but we may, um, you know, if you have a film that we should miss, uh, you know, uh, get in don't touch. worry. Don't worry. Get in touch. Get in touch. And. Um, <laughs> Uh, and for European genre form, it's mid-February. And Marit? Uh, well, I am not a director anymore, but... <laughs> we're, we're, we're aware, we're aware, but you're... But you're uh, it, it, it should be uh, January, February. Uh, we're doing a whole transition period, and uh, the festival is end of October. Uh, so, so that's out there. So it will be opening up soon. Well, for sure, the features. Chris, Marit, Mo, and Neta, thank you so much. Isaac and Nomi, of course, as well. Um, this was fun. We should do thank you, Uri, for the invitation. It was lovely. Great. Thanks so much. Hope can come and visit. Yes. You can. Bye-bye. You will. Yes, I will. Thank you.
bomb in the cake. Don't worry, I used to be a bomb guy. Stand back! 